Max, you had a three-run homer tonight, as well as Justin Turner. But what can you just say about offensively how things have really just been working for you? Uh, yeah, you know, it's just been uh, kind of flowing well for me. Uh, you know, I said it the other day. It's just trying to stay within myself and just trying to go out there and have fun and, you know, just do something to help the team win. Um, you know, tonight obviously was a big hit, but, uh, it, you know, whether it's a walk or just a ground ball or, you know, something to help help the team win. It's kind of all I'm trying to do right now. I'm not trying to go out there and uh, uh, get out of myself. And when you went into the dugout, you kind of had this look on your face like you were somewhat surprised. Were you, when you after you hit that ball and it went out the park, did you kind of did it take you by surprise? No, it didn't take me by surprise. It was, uh, uh, you know, I don't know what the expression was, but, uh, uh, you know, it felt good. It was, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a big hit and, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was fun. It was a fun time in the game. Thanks so much, Max. Next question is from J.P. Hornstrow. Go ahead. Yeah, Max, uh, if Chris Taylor doesn't beat out that potential double play ground ball, you're not batting in that situation to hit the home run. Just how clutch was that sort of behind the scenes hustle there by Chris? Yeah, uh, you know, it's huge. Um, you know, every guy on this team does a lot of things that may not go noticed all the time. And, uh, you know, that's one of them. Uh, you know, we have a lot of guys that are going to hustle the you know, hustle really hard down the line. And uh, CT is definitely one of them. He, he got down there, he beat it out. And then, uh, uh, you know, JT put together a really good at bat in front of me and, uh, you know, it gave me a chance. So it's, uh, it's a lot of guys doing things that don't always get noticed. And, uh, you know, that's kind of how we like it. I think we take it for granted that you guys are able to shake off um, errors in the field, like what we saw here um, in the sixth inning. Um, but can situations like that go sideways where, you're leading, make a couple errors in the field, you fall behind, and then the game gets away. Yeah, absolutely, it can happen. It's uh, you know, it's just kind of the nature of the game. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes you can have the best headspace ever, and uh, you know, you know, just things are going to go wrong. It's uh, um, you know, you can't really explain it all the time. But uh, you know, tonight we were able to um, you know get past it and uh, you know keep keep moving forward, and um, you know, hopefully that's something we can do all year long. Cool. Thank you. Next questions from Mike DiGiovanna. Go ahead. Max, I'm pretty sure you did a change up. Uh, were you sitting change up on 2 0? If so, how, how hard is that to you know, try to time an off speed pitch in that situation, even when you're looking for it? Uh, it wasn't necessarily sitting on a change up 2 0. It was just uh, trying to get something to be up. And, uh, you know, I saw it come out of the hand a little high. And, uh, you know, the spin on it told me it wasn't going to be a heater. So, um, you know, it's just try to stay stay underneath it, but not, uh, you know, stay underneath it to the middle of the field. And, uh, you know, thankfully I was able to do that. A lot of balls dying on the track tonight. Did you think it was out? Uh, you know, it's a cold it's a cold night here. And, uh, um, you know, I think you, you saw a couple of balls they hit and you, a couple of balls we hit that were, uh, you know, struck really well and they didn't get close to the wall. So it's just uh, – uh, you know, cold, cold nights here, you never, you never really know. And uh, it wasn't one that I completely flushed. So, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's always a chance it doesn't get out. What did you think of David Price in the ninth? It was awesome. Uh, you know, he, he, he gave up two hits, but it uh, didn't phase him at all. He was, he was throwing the ball well. He was pounding the zone. And, uh, you know, he, he, just, he looked really, really good. And uh, you know, that's going to be huge for us if we can put him out there in spots like that. And, uh, you know, he's a guy that's done it for, for a lot of years now. And, um, you know, it, we're going to rely on them heavily. And so it's nice to see that. Thanks. Next question is from Joe Painter Lopez. Go ahead. Um, Max, you guys were trailing at two different points uh, in this game. What did you like about the uh, at back quality that you guys kind of continued to put together even in those spots? You know, it's something that um, this team's been able to put together now for several years, uh, and we keep we keep improving on it each year. It's uh, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what the scoreboard says; it could be zero zero or it could be ten nothing. Um, you know, we're going to go out there and put together our best at bats possible, and uh, you know, that's kind of you know, like I said, it's something that we've been doing for several years several years now, and uh, you know, we're going to keep improving on that. And uh, you know, a lot of guys going out there and did a good job putting together good at bats. And. Uh... You know, you guys obviously went out to that the Jackie Robinson uh, statue uh, before the game. You guys are all wearing your uniforms and number forty twos. What what was that like for you? And and um, and and what did uh, Dave Roberts um, talk about that kind of sunk in for you? Yeah, you know, it was really cool. Um, you know, this is a really cool day all across baseball. Uh, you know, it's the only day that everyone's wearing the same uniform number, and 
Um, you know, as cool as it is for a lot of other teams to do that, this is the Dodgers. This is where Jackie played. You know, it just means a whole lot more um, in this uniform. And so to be able to do that, it's really cool. Uh, you know, Doc had a lot of good messages out in center field. Um, you know, the biggest thing was talking about just being a good person, really. Um, you know, that's kind of one of the things Jackie, uh, you know, he, he did either lot was he was a great person. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of quotes that were showing up on the scoreboard and I tell you that just showed what kind of person he was. And so Doc tried to relay, relay that to us and to challenge us to continue to be better, better people. Um, you know, it's not always about baseball. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in the world that, uh, you know, we can do a lot to help with. And, you know, a lot of that starts with just being a good person. Thank you. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Eric. Max, you, you guys have the, the Padres uh, this weekend and next. Um, is it possible for you guys to have a, like a big regular season series or do you, do you not look at it that way or, or how do you sort of approach this? Uh, you know, I don't know. It's obviously going to be a big weekend, but, uh, you know, I don't think we look at it too much like that for us. Um, you know, something that we're very good at is we take things one day at a time. And, uh, you know, today it was about the Rockies, about Jackie, um, about a lot of things. Uh, tomorrow it'll be about the Padres. It's, uh, and then after that, it'll be about the next team we play. Um, you know, it's each, each night for us is, is a new game. And, um, you know, we don't look at really the opponent as so much as, uh, what we need to do to win. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what we're going to do this weekend. Thank you.